Here is my first online golf lesson I recently took with Jason Nickel from Skillist.com. I've been struggling lately after a great season, and Jason was all over it. Jason has a stellar rating on Skillist.com, but I wanted to use him after hearing him on the Chasing Scratch podcast. He knows his stuff, so here we go. Jason requested several videos from different positions. Here is Jason's analysis. First things first is we're going to look at setup. Right now, your setup is too far into your heels. So if we look at like general body compositions uh, of your setup, you have a little bit too much mass behind your uh, balls of your feet. I would love to see that cleaned up just a little bit, some small little ch changes. I would love for us to just feel a little bit more like we're leaning over the balls of your feet. Again, <clears throat> five, 10%, nothing too crazy. As that happens, your arms are probably gonna hang from your body just a bit. I'm gonna get some rough measurements for you. I'm gonna make a small little assumption here and I'm gonna say that you have very long arms to like your tar torso area and maybe to your height. Um, why that matters runs into a little bit of setup stuff for people that have longer arms. We don't want the arms hanging straight down. Uh, we're going to want the arms just to hang just the hair off the body. Okay. Somewhere probably around there, but again, we'll, we'll, we'll check that and I'll give you a, a drill video or you can send me a drill video of, Hey, how does, how does this setup look good? And we'll go from there. Now, outside of that, when we go into the swing, so you talk about early extension, and if we draw a line up on your you know, trail side here, the little gap, yeah, you most definitely ha have a fair amount of early extension. Now, you actually have early extension in the backswing, and then you, of course, have early extension as you're working down. Now, the early extension in the backswing um, is not the end of the world. Um, some people have a bit of it and then reset. Um, but why do we have it is always, you know, the first thing. And so if you can't load into this hip, into that, into um, that trail side, yeah, you're going to have a hard time not moving that hip just a little bit deeper. Uh, if we can move it deeper, fantastic. We're, these are things we're going to work on. Why you early extend in your downswing, however, that is a functional movement. So what we're gonna see is you, you actually have a pretty clean takeaway and I do like that, those motions. So everything through there, I like that, looks good. So body turn, arms pick the club up, hips start opening, we've got turns and tilts. Then we get to about lead arm parallel in the backswing and we move through this. And what we're gonna see is that the arms continue to rise up and that club now gets very vertical Okay, before we start working down from the top with not a lot of hip turn or depth of the hands and arms behind the body. This is not a good spot to be for someone that has very minimal hand uh, depth and a very minimal turn in their swings. And that's why I was asking if you have any issues in, with your hip because you don't really turn them a whole lot. You change the angles in the pelvis, but you don't actually turn and open the hips a lot. So the shaft gets very vertical. Now, what we're going to see here is, well, if the shaft gets very vertical in your downswing and it actually pitches some about more vertical as you start turning and rotating, at some point, your, your brain goes, wow, this club is really high, really vertical. How are we going to get this club to work down? Well, guess what it does to do that? It's going to really extend. So the body goes this way, the lower body goes that way, and that drops the club. That allows you to play better golf. If you did not early extend, you would play worse golf. So we can't really get rid of the early extension right now without getting rid of that vertical shaft at the top. That is our you know cause and effect of your swing. So if all we did was do drills to get rid of the early extension, well, Without a golf ball, you probably can do it because it's, you know, you can figure out and you can shove the handle and all this other stuff. But to get to the golf ball and to hit a good golf shot, you need early extension in your golf swing. So we need to fix the cause of why you really extend, which is how vertical this shaft is at the top and in transition of your golf swing. You know, if we were to draw like, a, hey, where I would like to see uh, your shaft would probably be somewhere around here. Now, it doesn't need to be this like up down. It could be more, you know, hinged, but somewhere into this realm of like almost preset rather than this position and then trying to turn and rotate from here. So that's going to be the big thing that we're going to work on.
there's loads of good stuff in your swing and your overall setup is pretty good other than just a touch too much pressure uh in or i should say a little bit more mass than i'd want into like your heels than than i'd want but outside that everything else in the setup's really good so what would i like to see i'd like to see the butt not so sticking far far back and i'd love for the arms to get probably just a little bit more off the body as i was mentioning you i'm gonna make a small assumption and i could be wrong um, you have probably really long arms to your torso. I'm actually one of those people. When you get into your dress position, so if you were to stand fully upright, and you can see how as I stand fully upright, my, my butt's not sticking too far past, back past my heels. Now, in golf, just like most athletic sports, we don't want to sit into our heels to like get ready to do anything. The only like weird sport like where maybe you do that would be like football where you're trying to lower your center mass really low and you'll see football guys like this where yeah, they got their butt really far back. But outside that, if you see like a tennis player from down the line, their butt is marginally past like their their heels and they've got more pressure. They're getting to ready uh, to move from like the balls of your feet. We wanna be closer to that um, with your golf setup. So I'd love for you just to get the feeling of a little bit more out over the balls of your feet. Then from here, all I want you to do is when you feel like you've got some good pressure into your toes, and you can go both ways. So you should be able to go even more into your toes without falling over, and you should be able to go more into your heels without falling over. If you are gonna, if you like get here and then go to into your toes and you fall over, then you're too much into your toes. Same with your, if you're here and you're too much in your heels and you go to go more in your heels, you fall over. That's not great either. So somewhere in the middle of that, that's where we want to be. Now, as I was mentioning, when you go to get set up, just put a club um, into your like groin area. Once you feel like you've got that pressure into the balls of your feet, you're going to get some of that amount of hip hinge. Now, just let your arms hang naturally. Wherever your arms hang, and you can notice how my arms hang a little bit off my off my body, that's where we want to be in our golf posture, okay? We don't want like the arms to hang straight down, especially if we have longer arms because they're, they're, they're going to want to hang a little bit off the body. So small little adjustment changes there. Lastly, and the biggest thing, why you can't get rid of your early extension is because your early extension is a functional motion in your golf swing. It is needed. If we just got rid of the early extension, you would play worse golf. So we can't get rid of the early extension until we get rid of why you need the early extension. As I was mentioning in your videos, as you get up to this position, you're very vertical with the shaft and then you start turning and rotating. Now, if I didn't early extend, let's say I stayed in posture and, and kept turning, well, how am I gonna get this club down, right? It's gonna be really, really hard. So what the body does is the body stands up, which forces the club down, which is early extension. That is a functional motion inside your golf swing. So we need to get, we can't get rid of that until we get rid of that shaft pitch in the late stages of your uh, backswing into your transition phase. There's a way too vertical for how much turn you have. Now, turn, bad hip. If you have a bad hip and can't turn anymore, well, I'm not gonna ask you to turn and that's why I had those questions for you. So first things first is, can we turn more? And can we get that shaft into a better position? So I'd love a video, no golf ball, just a practice swing, no pressure. We're not even trying to hit a foam ball right now. I want you to get into that setup position. Once you're set up, I want you to swing up to the top, a full intent backswing, but your goal is to get a little bit more pressure into your trail side and feel like you're trying to load into this trail hip and trying to open up, get your like trail pocket towards the target. Now I'm not asking for, you know, 90 degree turn, but I would love to see maybe 40 to 45 degrees, somewhere around there. So if we can get somewhere around here, we're gonna be in a pretty good spot, okay? Somewhere between here and here, okay? That's about 45 degrees. Okay, if we can get somewhere around here, we're gonna be in a nice spot. Now, if you do that and you have hip pain, joint pain, back pain, that no, nope, we're done. We're, we're never going to make that move in the golf swing under pressure. If you can do it in a practice swing, however, we're going to be able to do it later in your golf swing. So that's the first thing. Can we get that, that, that hip to turn and rotate? And can we get a little bit more depth in those hands? That's the first thing. Second thing, we're going to talk about shaft pitch. Your shaft pitch is very vertical to the top. We need to get that shaft way more laid off. Now, I don't need this. I don't need like 
Ricky Fowler, D Daniel Berger, um, Sergio Garcia. That is also too flat. That does not work also. But right now you're too vertical. So you might need to feel like that. So again, I would like a practice swing. And all I want you to do is you're going to work off the golf ball. Again, you can either feel like you're turning the hip at the same time because it's going to really be really slow. And you're going to work up to the top. And then once you're at the top, then you can look at that shaft pitch. Like I said, this shaft pitch should be, if you if you had a laser beam shooting out of the end of that, okay, it should be out past where the golf ball is. So if you go into your dress position and you work up to the top, okay, and you go, all right, how's that look? And if you shot a laser beam out of this, okay, it should be pointing, okay, out past this the ball, okay? If it is pointing at the ball, that's too vertical for you. Right? We need it to be even more than that because we need to exaggerate it so that when we go into some speed, with some pressure, guess what? It's going to revert back some. I would love a video of that. Again, practice swing, no golf ball. Send me those. Um, so first things first is I want that setup video. A little bit more pressure into the toes. Okay, let those arms hang free. Then wherever that feels like, just place the club. Then, remember, just practice swing. We're going to feel like we're getting that load into that trail hip. Feel like we're turning and rotating and getting up to the top. Then we've got in this shaft pitch, you know, like that laser is pointing out that way. I just want to practice swing. When you have that, just send it in. We'll take a peek and we'll go from there. Just taking a peek at your, the video you sent in versus uh, just a practice swing. And you can see how much better this is, right? So yes, you're actually loading into the hip. We got some hip turn, which now gives you some hand depth as well as the shaft pitch is in a way better position to the amount of turn that you have. So if we go like middle isk of the hands, where it's like inside the heat inside the heel inside like the ankle versus now outside the ankle but also if you look like i said at um shaft pitch so much more vertical much more laid off to the amount of turn that you have so uh absolutely love this now of course can we can we do this now that we have a couple practice swings a couple like back and throughs and then can we do one hitting a foam ball but at like 10% speed. Again, the, the outcome is irrelevant. We're just trying to make the motor pattern uh, changes, get your brain to go like, oh, this is what we actually want to do when we're holding a golf, golf club, going to hit a golf ball.